Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to easily create and manage breakout rooms in Google Meet. You can use breakout rooms to split up your meeting participants into smaller groups for discussion or brainstorming or playing games or something else. So it can feel complicated and take up valuable meeting time to set up your breakout rooms while the meeting is in progress. So what I'm going to show you today is how to set up your breakout rooms in advance. Before I start, I want to note that breakout rooms are a premium Meet feature that only comes with certain paid Google Workspace editions. If you're using a personal Google account and you want to host meetings with breakout rooms, the feature comes with an upgrade to a Google Workspace individual subscription. You can learn more at the link on the info card or in the video description. To assign breakout rooms in advance, make sure you've set up your meeting as a Google Calendar event. People invited to the meeting can be assigned to a breakout room before the meeting starts. During the meeting, you can add additional people or rearrange the assignments if need be. Note that only individuals can be assigned to a Google Meet breakout room. You can invite a group alias to a calendar event, but you'll need to invite the individuals in that group to your event to be able to assign them to breakout rooms before the meeting starts. Similarly, Meet meeting rooms, interop devices, and Nest Hub Max cannot be placed in breakout rooms. So again, participants on those devices should be invited to the event individually so they can be assigned a breakout room in advance. Participants in a Google Meet meeting room can join the meeting using their own mobile device or laptop and then join the breakout rooms they've been assigned to. Just keep in mind that if you join the meeting using companion mode, you will not be able to speak or hear in the breakout room, so it's better to use the standard meeting joining option to be able to fully participate. To assign meeting invitees to a breakout room in a calendar event, click the video call options gear icon to the right of the join with Google Meet button. Click the breakout rooms tab, Choose the number of breakout rooms you want to create and name each room if you like. You may see people already assigned to breakout rooms. Click the Clear button to start fresh. You can also use the Shuffle button to have people assigned to rooms randomly. To manually assign meeting invitees to a room, you can either drag the guest name or type it. Click Save when you're done. You'll be able to add additional people and rearrange the participants during the meeting. So I wanted to give you a couple of additional suggestions for making your breakout rooms easier to manage. In the Google Calendar event, in the Video Call Options, click the Host Controls tab. If it's not on already, Turn on Host Management. Then switch to the Co-Hosts tab and add meeting guests as co-hosts. The co-hosts can then help you during the meeting to manage the breakout rooms and other settings. Back on the Host Controls tab, you can also turn on Quick Access. When you have Quick Access turned on, your invited meeting guests can join the meeting before you or any of your co-hosts. If you want to control when people join the meeting, turn Quick Access off. Note that if you don't have the Quick Access setting, any meetings that you organize will have participant access enabled by default. So that is a lot of information so far. You can check the links either on the info cards or in the video description for more information. And if you have any questions, you can post those in the comments or in the official Meet help community. 
So now you've assigned your breakout rooms, you've set up your co-hosts, and you're ready to start the meeting. Anyone who joins the meeting by dialing in with their phone, or who was not invited to the Google Calendar event, or who joins without being signed into their Google account, can be placed in a breakout room after they join the meeting. And you can rearrange the breakout room assignments after the meeting starts. To make any changes to breakout room configurations inside a meeting, click the Activities icon at the bottom right of the Meet window. Select Breakout Rooms, then click Edit Breakout Rooms. You can place participants in a breakout room, move participants between rooms, clear the rooms to remove people who are not currently in the meeting or to rearrange the rooms, or shuffle the participants. You can also enable host management and add co-hosts during the meeting. Note that it's highly recommended that you enable host management before you open the breakout rooms. Click the host controls icon, enable host management. This turns on the ability to use safety features, including present lock, which prevents participants from sharing their screen, chat lock, which prevents participants from sending in-meeting messages. But note that participants will still be able to see incoming messages from meeting guests. Audio lock, which mutes non-hosts, and video lock, which turns off the camera of people who are not hosts. If these safety features are enabled before the breakout rooms open, they will apply to all breakout rooms, and the settings can be either enabled or changed inside the breakout rooms themselves. Note that if you forget to turn on host management before the breakout rooms are opened, you'll have to close the breakout rooms, have everyone return to the main room, turn on host management, and then open up the breakout rooms again. Once you're ready for the breakout rooms to start, click Open Rooms. So that is how you set up and manage breakout rooms in Google Meet. As the meeting host, you can join each meeting room to monitor what's happening and join the discussion. To end the breakout rooms, Return to the Breakout Rooms panel and click on Close Rooms. Participants will see a 30-second timer before they're automatically returned to the main room. And as a final note, I just wanted to mention that the 10-digit meeting code for a breakout room is not meant to be shared. If you want to set up a recurring meeting with a smaller group of participants, it's better to set up an entirely new meeting in Google Calendar Meet itself. Have a great meeting and enjoy using breakout rooms. For more tips and tutorials, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell.